Oh, there's my buddy Snoop Dogg, and right now I am laid back with gin and juice. Erin Megan from SPCA joins us with more on this pair of chihuahuas. Erin, thanks for being yes, here. Thank you. This is Jen and Juice. Yes, they got adoption on their mind and their minds <laughs> on adoption. Yeah, that's for sure. They are sweet little doggies and a little bit of an age difference here. Yes, a little bit of an age difference, but love knows no age. Right. So Jen, who is right here, she's 11 mm -hmm. and Juice is one and they came to us together from another shelter. So they are very much bonded. Really, they yes. hang out together. They love being with each other. They love being with each other. When you take one, you know, the other one gets very like, where are you going? What's going on? Um, Jin has a little bit of an enlarged heart, mm -hmm. and um, that just shows how much she loves her Juicy. Yeah. <laughs> but um, she receives medication once a day, and she, you know, to manage it, and that's, uh, she does very well with that. And then there are little Chihuahua mixes, and she, because of the enlarged heart, she's good too. She can't really go on like long walks or mm -hmm. anything, like overexert herself. Right. So, you know, we have uh, baby strollers that we use. So Juice okay. walks along and Jin so they rides still, in the stroller. Still together, just yes. one's getting a ride. Yes, very much so. And, and is it because of her condition I read that this, this pair would be good maybe for older kids? Exactly. You know, a very calm environment mm -hmm. where they can just kind of be together and mm -hmm. have a laid back, easy going lifestyle. Right. You know, where they're not the type that you would need to bring to a dog park or, right. you know, need to go hiking with or anything like that. Yeah. Juice is pretty um, easy going too. He's not your typical yeah. one year old, uh, you know, puppy fever or anything yeah. like that. He, he takes his cues from Jin and they are, you know, just really easy going, you know, for somebody that is home a lot and just wants a lot of company or, you know, when you come home and you want to snuggle, they would be perfect. So these two haven't made a peep since they've come in the studio. <laughs> Do they bark a lot? I haven't heard them. I really? haven't heard them. They were great in the car. And like I said, they're just very easy going, yeah. you know, dogs that just need each other. Their That's, bond is very strong. Yeah. So despite their age difference, you know, we definitely are committed to finding them the best home together. And as with all the debts, uh, the dogs or, or pets that you would have adopted, uh, um, you invite people to come down and spend some time with them, Oh, right? yeah, definitely. You can spend as much time. A lot of people like to come down if they have children. They like to come down and kind of, like, scope out the animals mm -hmm. that they have in mind versus just, you know, letting the kids. They would want every animal that they right. see. So yes. sometimes for if you have children, it's good to come down and kind of uh, figure out who you are most interested in and then bring the children. They are um, around other little dogs, but they're very easygoing other dogs. So, right. you know, if you have dogs in the home, please bring them down so we can do a meet and greet. Aaron, always good to have have you here. Thank Jen you and too. Juice, yes. welcome and uh, hopefully you'll get a home soon. If you're interested in adopting these two or any pet, you can head over to the NSPCA on Dewey Drive or call them at that number on the screen, 873-7722. Courtney, over to you.